Hi, Jordan here. Today I'm going to explain to you how to produce this. The Victor Schauberger Double Spiral Flow Pipe. make this, I use a series of skills. The first of many is electroforming or electrotyping. So this is a 55 gallon drum. It is filled with distilled water, copper sulfate, sulfuric acid, hydrochloric acid, and a few additives. In later videos, I'll explain more about how these tanks work and uh, what all these parts here are for. But first, how do you make this, specifically this? So come join me, take a few minutes and I'll explain to you how I do it. So. First, I start with a interval plan. You can't see it right now, but this is a shofar out in Israel. And instead of using it for what it's supposed to be used for, or mounting it on a wall or something, I decided to pursue my interest in Victor Schauberger's inventions. Now, this is copper. This is wax. Under this wax is a bone. So to get this, I dip the wax, or I dip the horn, in a 65 liter melted pot of wax. And then I paint this wax with graphite paint or copper paint. You can get these at uh, electroforming suppliers online. And I place this part into my baths for approximately, this one here took three days at 0.2 amps per square inch. And I just hung it in the bath by a copper wire. And the way electroforming works is the graphite paint makes the wax form conductive. So using power supplies, we apply a uh, positive current to the part and a negative current to our anodes, which go on these bars. I can explain this later. So after three days at 0.2 amps per square inch, enough copper builds up over the graphite to about a thickness of a sixteenth of an inch. It's a little bit thinner at the top because in my tanks the current density is, is lower at the top. So, from an antelope horn, dipped in wax, coated in graphite paint, and then electroformed for three days, once I have the electroformed part, I dip it in the boiling water, I melt the wax out, and I'm left with a cookie cutter. So this is my cookie cutter, which I fill up with wax, and then embed, at about this point, a ball knob with an M8 threaded rod and a coupling nut. a method, I have a, a way to hold the part in the bath. So what I do here, I have a slip coupling, which is essentially a, a rotating, mercury filled rotating electrical component, which uh, I can explain that later, but this is the general process here. So. 
just to recap, and there's a lot involved in this, how to get this here. Schauberger double spiral flow pipe. Double spiral with this rifle. Okay, so how do I get the rifle? And my cookie cutter, I don't have the rifle. That spiral groove. But in my forms here, ready to be electroformed, I do. And the way I get this is with a blowtorch and a hot spoon. And I melt it out. Melt it out. And you get the groove. Okay? And this groove is important because you have double spiral motion taking place within the pipe. And the groove is going to impel the water towards the central flow. So here it is. This is my setup. That's what I'm building. Those are the tanks, which will build the parts. There's the parts. The process is very quiet. You can do it at three in the morning. Waxwork is quiet, painting. It's really a combination of art and science. To make these, take some artistry, which I learned through pottery. So the hub of the turbine, there's a piece of pottery that I've made that will be soon be electroformed. So all the black will be copper. So with pottery and wax on a pottery wheel, I can churn components like the hub. So I'll show you outside and build this hub out of wax and with the same process, keeping in mind the constraints of the tank, produce that part as well, that hub. Now it'll be a little more complicated to make the actual vessel and the shutoff speed control. Still a lot of work to do, the nozzles. My pipes don't have the nozzles yet just uh, keeping it as simple as I can. It's a very complicated process. I mean, it's complicated until you get, your, get a handle on it. So there it is. It's the Schauberger Tornado Home Generator. But really any Schauberger-based technology can be uh, made with this technique. So quickly I'll show you that meander membranes, Schauberger meander membranes, you can uh, carve those on wax. So what you do is you start with you start with a wax plate like this, and you put that on your pottery wheel. Find a technique for securing it to your wheel, and then you carve out what you would like to electroform. So that is the beginnings of another me meandering membrane. This is a, just an experimental meandering membrane here. It's experimental. So what you can do is uh, you can build in your your component for attaching the uh, the axle for your, your coupler. I can't remember what you call that. And there it is. So, to make Schauberger style technology, we can use relatively approachable crafts, I would say. Pottery, waxwork, sculpting, carving. This is the science. 
the electrochemistry is, you have to be fairly precise. I'm still working on it. Um, but yeah, that's about it. We have some ventilation there. Ventilation's one of the number one cause in electroforming operations. I've got it off right now because noise. Um, but yeah, in the next video I will explain a little bit more about how I turn this into copper, into uh, copper parts that can be assembled into machines, and uh, we'll see what happens.